Welcome back. A Marine persevering through a life changing injury on a journey to become a different kind of champion. WLWT News 5's Brandon Seho shares his inspiring story tonight. Life knocks us all down once or twice, and most of us find a way to get back up. But there's few that can bounce back, become stronger, and make a difference in the world like John Heath, who never stopped fighting for himself or others. <laughs> one step, one lift, and one day at a time, John Heath is stepping up to every challenge life throws his way. Doctors didn't believe me. I told the doctors, I said, listen, when you see me on TV, for the Paralympics or some sort of sport, remember we had this conversation. That conversation coming after John's life changed forever on New Year's Eve 2015. While serving in the Marines, John was hit by a drunk driver, shattering his lower body, almost taking his life. Do I think I deserve to get hit by a car? No, I don't think that that right. was part of, you know, but I think the process was to set back because I'm not the same person I was five years ago. That has taken so much work that people don't understand the level of darkness I went through to be the person I am now. But the dark days didn't stop after that accident. Two years later in 2018, I'm throwing it away when I get home. John's best friend took his own life. I'm sorry. Then in 2020, John lost his significant other to suicide. I think the hardest thing I went through was the two suicides I dealt with. I dealt with my best friend. We have matching tattoos, man. Like, that's how close we were. And then two years later, my significant other commits commit suicide during quarantine. So how do you, right? Like, if you look at statistics, you don't really know a person who knows someone that close that has committed suicide. And then two years later, I'm going through the same relapse of emotions, and now I'm drinking and doing drugs and just trying to drown out everything. Life is way too short. And I've witnessed it. I was hit by a car. I've witnessed Marines kill themselves. I've witnessed people, you know, commit suicide. So why am I going to sit here and not live my authentic self? Why am I not going to live true happiness? <sighs> now John is living his true happiness and helping others find that same happiness within themselves. He's used to it. John is currently training for the 2024 Paralympics in Paris while beginning to mentor adaptive athletes in Cincinnati and also advocating for mental health in sports. My biggest mission is to open up this conversation. A lot of people don't have it. A lot of people see all these pro athletes. They think that, you know, we're all happy and, you know, we've got everything. But in reality, look at the statistics and look at the data behind everything that's happening, right? When in reality, like we can't talk. Like as men, if, if a man comes and cries, like you're seeing us someone weak. But I think that this journey, I think that this journey is what helped me. And, and the possibilities of my passion of seeing what I'm trying to establish and leave in this world. I, I can't change the world, yeah. but I can control the bubble and the people that I interact. Why? Because people remember how you make them feel. Tell your story because it could save someone's life. That's my mission. And John obviously helping save lives by telling his story, which is so powerful already. But be on the lookout in 2024 as John continues to train and work towards competing in the Paralympics in Paris. Brandon Seho, WLWT News 5. And we will be rooting for John out there.